We started? Yeah, we started. <gasps> Good morning. How you doing? <laughs> the beam band in this motherfucker. Yo, listen. It's my turn to fucking podcast. I'm the fucking host. All right. How you doing, Vic? <laughs> Welcome to my podcast. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> What's yeah, up? Yeah, there we go. What's your name? So what's up, y'all? I'm Oscar, the Beam Vende, uh director, film creator, photographer, videographer, podcaster, ho you name him, bro. I do everything, bro. Yo, you gotta tell my man, you got I have to tell you guys the experience I went through this guy living in this place, man. Like I almost die. What the fuck? Lives in a haunted hotel, man. <laughs> shit scary motherfucker. I hear a couple of raccoons and shit. I was scared, man. Yo, be careful, man. Hey, you know I mean, that's how we keep those people out, though. You know what I mean, you got to keep it low key, <laughs> undercover. <laughs> Once you get the Addy, you know where it is. <laughs> Fuck, man. How you doing, bro? How's your day, bro? I'm doing good, man. You know I mean, living life, being the parent, being the dad, going to the gym slowly but surely. How about yourself? Shit, man. I've been killing it, man. I've been just really like trying to figure out life right now, man. Dividing my life. Um, I don't know. I've been in tough situations. I just moved into a new apartment. I like, seen. I, I know. Seen. How, how, how are you liking that, bro? Fuck that. Fuck living with somebody, bro. I love living by myself. You look like like the independency. Oh, bro, is the best, bro. If you ever work so fucking hard to obtain your own place, bro, you will, and that's just fucking. Can we curse in here? I'm sorry, bro. Go for it. Yeah, Can totally, I, bro? Yeah, I'm sorry, totally bro. Totally raw, uncut. You get what I'm trying to say. You yeah. get a lot of shit up your sleeves. Yeah, I mean, I love this shit, bro. What you're doing currently, bro, it's going to be worth a lot of money, bro. Being a podcast host and understanding how to do a podcast, um, how to talk, prop, how to, like, talk and how to, like, take over a podcast, a host, as a matter of fact. Um, it's fucking sick, dude. This is for me. I've done myself. I haven't started it since last year, but I, I done almost like fifty episodes. And something that I did learn about is communication, the uh, interpersonal communication, how to talk to somebody, how to bring a conversation, how to dissect a conversation into further, how to ask the proper questions. Um, I was working uh, at this hospital for two years while doing the podcast, so I was able to bring uh, social workers, uh, doctors, nurses. Oh wow! So you you got a full like exclusive access to people with great professions. In that yeah, field. yeah. Well, I'm a people's person. I love I love talking to people. I love building a connection. I think building a connection to me is like super phenomenal because you never know where they're gonna be at. Um, but dude, no podcasting for me is the best tool ever, in my opinion, when it comes to being a communicator. And that's what you are. How'd you fall into this field? Because I remember meeting you um, at the gym when I used to work at 24 hours. Shit. Yeah, man. Shit. Slowly but surely, I started seeing you stack on those muscles. And then I seen you bust out that camera. I was like, who the hell is this guy? Dude, no. Um, fucking, I don't know, man. Filmmaking for me in the beginning was a trip, bro. Because I was working uh, I was working a nine to five. Well, I was working technically at a smoothie shop, San Diego Blenders, all day. Yeah. I will get, I will go from, I will go, I will drive to school from community college to the blender place. I'll get out into like seven because after COVID seven, we used to close at seven. And, um, and then from there I used to go to flux or I used to go shoe or I used to do behind the scenes for like 50 bucks and shit, wasting time. But I wanted to learn a lot. Mm -hmm. And so I did that for like the first three years and then COVID happened, literally COVID happened 2019. And I was like, well, fuck it. I'm just going to quit. I have a savings. God bless me. I'm just going to drop a fucking a ton of money on the camera and let's see where it goes type shit. If it fucking happens, I, I, I still got my degree. I'm going to go to college and get that degree going. So you already had your backup plan like ahead of time. Just in yeah, case of anything were to yeah, happen. But, but I, yeah. But you know I mean, like going back to that, you know, like what kind of got you out there like hey you know like i'm just gonna start shooting somebody or did you know people that wanted to get recorded like i went to car meets so the first thing i did i did went to car meets with my friend shouts out to banana boat i love him uh but he took me to car meets because i like cars i like i don't know it's cool and um i went to car meets i took pictures and i just sent it to them just take a picture of the iphone on their gram and then i'll individually put them in a Dropbox or a Google Drive and send them to them privately. And I did it f and I did it for like 60 people, I think. I don't know, I did it for oh, a wow. lot of people. But I would literally just take pictures of them, da, 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 take like four, five, six, make them stupid good, like as much as I can get on Lightroom, spend hours, man, not hours, but a lot, of, a lot of time into them. And then I would just like, hey bro, here, I took some pictures of you, da, 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 boom. And I will either get clients or they will post me, they will repost me and stuff like that. And that was cool. And, uh, and then after that, uh, this company hit me up um call a dealership um ex dealership 
and um and then i went i did it and i was like oh this is cool i could get paid a hundred bucks are you fucking serious for and taking that's like, all and that started all from like yeah the, from them the, like like what the moment. fuck yeah i was like yo <laughs> what and then um and then it fucking happened and then dimes hit me up shouts out to dimes bro i love that place um they give me an opportunity to shoot for them and shit. And Dimes, for me, is probably... There's a lot of cool dealerships in San Diego, don't make me wrong. The car scene here is fucking amazing, but Dimes have some badass cars, bro. And then I shot for them a lot. And then that, from that... Um, it's so sick. Imagine driving your car anywhere you want, whatever, doing whatever you want to it, make content, and you get paid for doing that for two, three hours. And you get paid good type mm -hmm. shit. I'm like, no fucking way you can do that for dealerships? So I could go to Mercedes right here in La Mesa and fucking ask for the, I don't know, the, uh, the social media team or whatever. Yeah, and be like, yo, let me take a picture of your Nissan GTR. Nissan GTR. Oh, your Mercedes GTR. Yeah. And then fuck, you can drive and take pictures. Bruh, how much? I thought, what? <laughs> yo, I'll take that bitch. <laughs> so then I start falling in love with cars. And then Dime see me up back again to fool me for a part-time position. I'm like, fuck yeah. So, bro, I was working like 12 hours for like the past two years, bro. Like constantly, bro, constantly getting paid the most misery money ever, bro. Until last year, until 20, 2021. Yeah. Well, that's where like business kicked in and a mentorship kicked in, bro. So that like business started booming from there. Mm -hmm. Holy hell. Yeah. And so just fucking, I don't know, get a mentor. That's fucking huge. If you ever do a profession, a pro if you really want to like experience like, somebody kicking you in the ass like a mentor helps you a fuck ton bro shout out to eric connor Merks, bro he's my mentor bro. i love that motherfucker he is the best editor in san diego in my opinion you know what i mean like he kills in the game and um he taught me a lot of business and how to charge how to properly charge how to educate a client you know what i mean when you're like when if you want to get those big bucks and shit um you gotta learn how to do everything you have to you know what i mean like yeah. yourself you can do a podcast boom you can do a video shoot boom you can do photography boom advertisement boom um utilizing canva and all those things to make your ads look better you know what i mean all that shit oh my god hey yo can you do this for me yeah how much and then you make your own fucking price because you're the fucking you're the motherfucker how long does it take you so pretty much that mentor kind of gave you that voice in a sense like that confidence like hey take take ownership of your shit what mm -hmm. you got going on Mm -hmm. Holy hell. yeah bro it's the it's the best thing ever and then this is the best bro this is the best job once you do this full time bro this is gonna be the best job you're gonna have and you will never want to go back because i will never that's literally what i do for a living killed any kind of educational purpose in my life bro yeah so like doesn't that kind of give you like uh remorse because you felt like i'm pretty sure you spent quite a grip money going to school right yeah well it's yeah, not a bad yeah. thing, right? Education is definitely never a bad thing because, yeah. again, it is your backup plan just in case shit hits a fan. Mm -hmm. So now that being said, do you plan on, like, finishing your school schooling? Or I'm no? going to get my bachelor's. Today's my last semester. Okay, congrats. At SDSU. <laughs> shit. At SDSU, um, that's it. I mean, I'm all, uh, there was no point of me quitting because I was already just already one month semester. I'm like, yo, man, fuck, I'm just going to kill myself just a couple months, six months. <laughs> I'll be good with you, bro. That's it. <laughs> Simple shit. What the fuck? I'll get to my mom. She's happy. She'll bother me. Whatever. Yeah. So uh, what did you go to school for? Clinic, uh, social work. Social I, work. I don't want to say clinical because clinical is like when a higher up. But if I was going to pursue and do master's, I would have done clinical social work. I fucking love that shit. What, uh, what is that exactly? Enlighten me what it, that is. Cause that it's just fucking talking to crazy. No, I'm just kidding. No. Um, <laughs> just talking to like people that it, it's just like, like a therapist. Like think about it. I wanted to emphasize on like right here, like on the on the on the deep side of the fucking Mississippi River skyline, like Lincoln, all those areas. So kind of in the sense of um, in the poverty areas. You know I mean, like yeah, where, where I grew up as well. Well, know? mental health. I want to like mental health has always been in my household. Like as preach, my mom, my mom was vegan, all that. She's a weird. She likes GMO, all that weird. Yeah. She's allergic to shrimp. So that the fucking San Diego shit, and um she always preached about mental health and i love that and and now all of a sudden everybody talks about it so i like it i, I i'm a big believer that you need a therapist and um i'm glad that san diego i never seen to be that expensive or free sometimes my mom has a free one and um it's the best thing ever bro when it comes to mental health i think everybody needs to talk to somebody that no, nobody knows who the fuck you are yeah i love that person bro i don't want to i don't want to say her name but i love my therapist so much because she doesn't know me she knows me i could tell her anything bro and she would be like all right cool and i love that shit i love that i could tell her anything that i cheated that i fucking stabbed somebody in the neck <laughs> that i fucking rob a bank she'll 
be okay with that and mm-hmm. she will tell she will explore my mind to it she will fucking do anything and i love it i love that shit and you, you should have one everybody should have one and it's the best bro fuck a friend i get it friend is cool whatever the fuck blah blah, blah. but a professional one somebody that drops you dimes and theories and like gives you a per- new perspective and life that doesn't know who the fuck victor is bro is the best yeah so pretty much like there's no judgment there's no like exactly. biased opinion for what you're saying facts okay. yeah and during this whole career like upstart when days were rough like how that fe- like how, that, how did that feel and that, man? bro i was drinking all kinds of bleach bro all different flavors no i'm just kidding <laughs> um bro cry i remember crying a lot i remember being like, i'm useless i'm useless fuck 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 why the fuck do i do this and i would just be yelling and shit at the fucking my mom which my mom went to work and i'll yeah. have i'll have the place with myself and i would be fucking yelling at the bathroom like fuck 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 what the fuck am i doing it what the fuck and i'll be out I, I, I talk to that's why i love my new place because i talk to myself a lot yeah <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing wrong with it, man. I talk to myself well, I love it. so um I, I i just needed to hide myself up and shit i listen to a lot of pink floyd i think pink floyd dogs um it's my favorite i I like um animals the album dogs Mm -hmm. is my favorite fucking song ever it's like four or five songs and each song is a different kind of um animal and i love it i I think that i don't know my dad used to play that shit when he when he um when we were in mexico so i I remember but dogs bro dogs such a great fucking song and i start my day with that shit bro that's a morning routine and uh, old Mac Miller faces. I love yeah. that album. I, I think that album is a masterpiece. So music pretty much helped you out. During yeah, this, during those tough times. Yeah, weed too. Uh, psychedelics, uh, mm-hmm. shrooms, fucking helped me so much for my. Ex- I don't want to call it anxiety, but more dep- um, seasonal depression. I would like to call it. Yeah, because that where I was in that situation that I wasn't making no money and having like one a gig and that gig only was paying me like twenty bucks, thirty bucks. Um, it was a depression. It's like what the fuck am i really worth only 20 bucks for four hours of work am i fucking serious cents every hour yeah you know i mean that hurt me the most but once you told me that this is a process and you have to put yourself out there all the time and say yes to every well try to say yes to everything, everything. and have a balance bro shrooms helped me so fucking much for my depression bro I, i'm colorado is killing it with the psilocybin uh, treatment which is um people with uh, schizophrenia or like in high anxiety or suicide thoughts they've taken psilocybin which is shrooms it's yes. been helping because i i know people have a very bad perception on psychedelic drugs you know because it's like it can be mishandled misused correct like any type of thing like drinking yeah. smoking eating yeah to a certain extent but i know it does help out a lot of people you know, yeah i write about cases where and even states even california itself is trying to pass a law I or hope. psychedelics to be illegal. Yeah, I mean, look at the opiate epidemic right here, bro. Look at fucking Skid Row 2.0 right here and fucking, but the but the station. Uh, yeah, 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 right here. Bro, it's fucking crazy, bro. And um, that to me bothers me because I feel like we're not doing nothing about it, which is, it amazes me. Yeah, you mean, and that being said, San Diego, it is, uh, I feel like the homeless population is getting big, but our leaders do turn a blind eye. You know what I mean? They, Fuck yeah. They, they see it. They they ignore it. When we do have big events, as Padres playing in season, Comic Con, they kick them out. Big events, like they kick them out. Exactly. They, they brush brush them aside. That's why they put those rocks underneath the bridge. If you're going leaving um, Petco, mm-hmm. they put them there because the homeless were sleeping by, and the people had to drive through that bridge to see go into the freeway. Mm-hmm. So it kind of sucks seeing how like city officials do handle this treatment, but at the same time, I don't know what's the right answer because there is some good. There is good homeless, and I know that there's bad homeless from me living. Literally a street away from them. They're my security guards twenty four seven. Um, they do some of them take advantage of the of kind hearts of people that go out and give them food and give them water. Ah, man, I don't know, bro. It's it scares me. I don't know. You never when you drive on them like fuck. Yeah. <laughs> if I should have thought that last dab, I would have looked like that, bro. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I, it's fucking crazy, bro. Like I get every time I drive it to go to my the fit when I go to fit. Oh, yeah. Fucking, I get fucking. Oh my fuck. I, th- get free, I just get like oh, a little, yeah. a little shiver, bro. But no, nah, bro. But hey, little by little, bro. I want to ask you one question to you though. Yeah. Like fucking, how you you you're starting up right now, man. Correct. So like, how you been feeling? Um, to be honest, it is a lot more than I expected. It could be very over- overwhelming. Um, yeah. Again, everything for me has been self taught. Um, stuff I learned from high school. I went to the Kearney, Kearney High School you know, <laughs> in design. I mean, gotta give them a little shout out. But Fuck honestly, that. like, um, I learned a lot of this stuff through YouTube. Yeah. And um, I said, I got, unfortunately, I had an injury and 
I had to find a new career path. And I was like, fuck it. I like talking to people, like I said to you earlier. And might as well see, like, everybody has their own story. And I think hearing someone else's story can actually help and move and motivate others. And that's, if it, if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, I tried. You know, fuck like, that. I, I, don't, I don't talk like that. I don't talk, hey, if I try, no, fuck no. You will fucking make it. Nah, I, nah. Dude, I'd be telling that shit to my fucking wall, bro. Like, I will fucking make it. I'm fucking Victor M. I don't want, can you say yeah, your last name? Yeah. Whatever the fuck yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. Victor M, and I will fucking make it. And I will make a thousand. And, and bro, and honestly, that I don't know if it's the fucking drugs I take, but bro, that shit fucking works, bro. That manifesting shit with yeah, the white law people, of attraction. Bro, Hey, yeah. that secret shit on Netflix, bro. Best <laughs> shucking. Watch that shit four times, bro. Yeah. See, and that, I, you know what I mean? Like, and others have told me as well that, like, hey, stop thinking like that because you're setting up yourself for failure. Yeah. Right? And I'm pretty sure you hear that from your mentor. Like, hey, don't fucking think like that. Um, it is a habit, right? It's a it's a new habit trying to get myself out of that mindset. Um, and that's where I'm at. You know what I mean? Just grinding. I, like, I, I don't feel like I'm grinding. I don't know if you feel like you're grinding what you do. Um. So I, I love it, but at the same time, I realistically speaking, I know at some point I have to turn the profit. You will. Not. So you can take it a lot of ways with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like um, how I make the other, I work, I, I manage other podcasters, other podcasts, um, one, other podcasts, podcasts. Wait, podcasts. I manage other people's podcasts. There oh, you go. Fucking fuck. Hey, San Diego State. You know I mean? San Diego like, fucking State. Retard. Um, uh, sorry. Um, but utilize every social media platform as you can possibly can tiktok facebook twitter snapchat and everything everything is not everything is 10 by 1920 everything mm -hmm. you know what i mean 4k is a new 1080 you know what i'm saying um all those things so like i would just put everything out there and that's what i want to start doing starting putting my own um i want to get myself more out there when it comes to the social media i post like every other every three months yeah and shit. so hold on, um for those viewers that are here listening on the podcast so they can search up your podcast what, what is it called <laughs> yo listen if you're fucking sensitive you're a little bitch and you can't handle like shit for real and real life yo listen y'all gonna hate it because i say some crazy shit most of the time i'm like extremely under you know a couple of things you know, elephant tranquilizers with the homies and shit but it's the Bean Bandit, and I love it. I I love that shit. We talk about so much crazy shit. I bring either doctors sometimes or my homies, or I bring an expert of something or another videographer, photographer, whatever. But it's sick, the Bean Bandit on anything. I mean, you can find it anywhere. There we go. So I'll be dropping that tag for people to see that is watching this on the video platform. But again, so you're going to be challenging yourself, right? <laughs> Yeah, what? more more marketing for your social media Dude, team. Right? Yes, bro. Now it's so easy to fucking make it. Literally, it's all algorithm based. So literally, just follow a blueprint. It's not fucking hard. Post every fucking day. Do your stories. Do everything. But what the challenging part is is the is the c word, aka consistency. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Consistency for me, I'm still work. I'm 23 years old, so I'm still working on it. You know what I'm saying. Um, I'm trying to work on being consistent with everything. And let me cut you back real quick. You, how old are you again? 23, bro. 23, right? No, nah, I'm young. I'm 23, and you are on your own. Yeah. Managing a business, <laughs> right? Just hear, hear yourself, all right? 23, managing your own business. You moved out by yourself, kicking ass, <laughs> going to state, going to graduate with a bachelor degree. Man, you got to... You got, you got to fucking give a round of applause to yourself, man. Bro, From where you started? Bro, I live at go. Hey, no, no, no. Nah. And, and that's true. No, I mean, you, you're right. You got to really, like, think about that, dude. Like, you came a long way. And I'm not sure, like, what else have you done prior to this? You know what I mean? Because right. like, I know I, I've met you when you worked at the Blender. So I'm, I'm not sure. Because working at a fucking deli could suck, man. You smell like fucking meat. Bread, smoothies, vegetables, like all that stains. Bro, I loved it. I <laughs> love that shit, bro. Dude, honestly, a breakthrough, bros, when I was throwing the trash and the whole trash rack broke. Ooh, I was saying, I was saying <laughs> fucked up. You could, you should have never listened to me when that happened to me. I was saying fucked up shit. I, oh my God, I middle fingered the ground. I stumped the banana. I don't go fuck. But I loved it. I, for some reason, San Diego, shout out to San Diego Blenders, bro. Best fucking smoothie shop ever. I love that Damn, place. Right? They gave me so much freedom. I could have beat... I was me the whole time. 
I was like, "Hi, how you doing?" I was like, "Yo, what's up, Charlie? What's up?" <laughs> <laughs> and it was sick as fuck. Like everybody was so chill. Like it was like by Mission Valley, so I was getting the when it was the older demo, older demographic of people. Yeah. They were like sick old people, and they were like college students because San Diego State is it was almost right next to it. Yeah. So I get the college students, the, the the college bitches, everything. It was fucking sick, bro. I loved it. I loved that place, but it was a grind, bro. It was a lot. Every, yeah, I, physically, it's a lot. Yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, I was working s- always, always what nine to five, but nine to five because I was going to school, so I was doing like maybe the the closing shift most of the time. And top it off, you were shooting on the side as well. Yeah, so I was sleeping like that's why the, I call it the twelve hours, twenty four, almost 40, 24 hours shift that I was like always constantly fuck homework. Shit, hey bro, let me copy it, bro. When your mom, <laughs> bro, please let me copy the homework. So I was always, I, I'm dude, God, que Dios me bendiga and God bless me, bro. But like I've been in some tough situations when it comes to like, what well, fuck, do I either go to school? <laughs> Or do I go to shoot? So I will always put myself in those situations. But in the beginning, I will feel terrible skipping school, like religiously type shit. My yeah. mom, my, if you're Mexican, bro, your mom will brainwash the fuck out of you to go to school, bro. Oh, yeah. And um, and bro, no, I was sometimes like, well, fuck, I need to do the shoot, dude. This is a great opportunity. I'm shooting for one of one type shit. So I this, that. but a lot of sacrifices, a lot of relationship, a lot of pussy sacrifice, a lot of party sacrificing, a lot of friendship sacrificing, a lot of family sacrifice. That one hurt me the most. Uh, not not tending to family shit because I have no family almost. Um, but sacrificing friends, fr- bro, bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> See, but that's that's uh, that's what I'm saying. That. You're 23 years old and you're already thinking like that. You're thinking like this ahead of time. You're probably like 18, right? Yeah. 18, 19, yeah. 17. It's suck, bro. But yeah, I can hey. imagine. Well, yeah. You mean like that's part of the whole experience, right? Growing up, going messing around, not taking full responsibility in a certain demand, right? You mean, yeah. We all have each responsibility to do to each of its own. Yeah. But you're thinking about the money. Yeah. You know? I mean, I don't think, I don't think not, videography and photography about the money. And yeah, I understand yeah. where you're coming from with that. But um, it's yeah. It's a future base. Yeah. Well, well, yeah, I was like, fuck, I need to fucking make it, bro. I always, the crazy part is that I, I never been, I never been creative in, in that way. I never, when I, excuse me, when I, when I used to draw and shit, I used to think I'm the best drawer, but you're fucking, you're a better drawer than me, motherfucker. <laughs> but I, I never thought it would be a creative side. I thought it was going to be just a regular motherfucker that w- I don't want to call regular labeling, but fuck you. Uh, but like an entrepreneur. Yeah. The business is fucking different. Business is that's what I would have go. To, I would have gone to school for business or something. Understanding equity, understanding percentages, understanding. If I make you an ad, um, I want six months from that ad revenue type shit. If I work for you for that SD hat, I don't, is that faith or what is it? Yeah, that's uh, this is Luis? faith right here. Okay, bet. Shouts out to Luis, bro. Hey, psh, yeah, man, killing it. I was like, hey, that's that's fucking. Come dope. on, everybody, bro. everybody was like, hey, man, where'd you get the hell? Like, faith, faith, bro. Come on, bro. Yeah, that's, bro. Hey, that's, that's, a, that's a good one, faith. Come on, bro. I know, I know that motherfucker, bro. Little skinny motherfucker. I love that guy. Shouts out to him, bro. Fucking big Dumbo motherfucker. And it's big. He's a big uh, San Diego guy too, huh? Now like, he is. Uh, now he's to Hollywood. Sister, for my little it. sister's a boyfriend. I was like, oh, that's that's the homie. I was like, what? Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. So it's like make so circling back with the conversation. Yeah. Um, so if I the company will Faith will hire me and they throw an ad on me, I will ask for a small percentage of the of the of the ad revenue from that so if you sell like let's say you sell 7k worth of those hats i'll make like 200 300 bucks monthly for not doing nothing for six months well because yeah you you promoted you gave them the artwork you're the one that you're the selling point you're, yeah at this point in age it's all about media you mean how you present yourself mm-hmm. how you're marketing things mm-hmm. that's it's either makes you or breaks you and that's cool that's what's exactly. awesome like what you're doing for yourself yeah yeah, and, and, and it's business way, though, because people don't understand that. People understand, bro, you can make a killing out of this, and you don't even have to learn how, what ISO is type shit. Mm-hmm. You got it. It's how you sell it, how you sell yourself, how you sell your product, and how you sell really you, like like really the image that you're putting out there. Because, bro, honest, now these days, I, I, I love and hate TikTok. I love TikTok because how fast you can blow, blow up, up in there. You can be nobody tomorrow, and then the next day you have 2 million view bangers. Boom, everybody know, oh, yo, Victor, yo, Victor M, yo, Vic, adventure fucking struggles, bro. Did you see that shit from Vic? Bro, what the fuck, bro? I can't wait for next Monday for the next drop. Yeah. And then there is the killing of creativity. Uh, uh, if you scroll down on the For You page on TikTok or Reels, bro, they're not that creative. Everything is just like, the dance, yeah, the dance. And Not even that. dance. That dance are huge, but like the transitions or like just cutting oh, okay. to You're music about and more shit. Like the more the media side. Of yeah, it. yeah, I'm like fuck, bro. So now that kills my creativity. But I'm just being a bitch. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I'll, I'll be good, bro. fuck, honestly. But hey, man. So looking back, 
what do you have planned up for this year? You mean like I know you? I don't know if I could say this. Like what you got going? Your um, business that you got going? Your shooting, business entrepreneurship? Yeah, uh, yeah. I want to open a studio. That's my goal. I want to get a studio going on. Uh, I want to. I want to actually have a team. I have a team. When I say a team, I have like two people always on me on deck. Like if I ever need BTS, like I'm a BTS guy. If I need a DP, which is a director photographer, I have my homie there. Or if I need an editor, I already got my, I, I got like my, my power three. Yeah. Um, if I ever need help or if I ever need extra cash or anything. Power four now with the podcast room here. Dude, fuck yeah, bro. <laughs> shit lit as fuck. Yeah. Um, but have somebody on your side. Like for me, if I ever need like, okay, this is the budget. Da, da, da. Okay. What am I doing? I'm uh, maybe I'm gonna get Eric today, bro. Eric is gonna fucking I'm gonna make him a video. Excuse me, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna make a video. I'm a, and he's gonna edit it for me. Boom, I'm gonna drop it. So I like now I'm blessed to be in the point position that I could able to give money to my homies and shit like that. And those are my four motherfucking homies, though. And you know what's cool about that? You mean I just recently um was taught this. The less that you have to touch, in a sense, like expending resources, the more income you can make. Fuck yeah. Does it make sense? Because you're not spending as much time focusing on shooting, right? Or editing yourself. Yeah. You have somebody else there, and then boom, you could get another job over here. Yeah. Boom, get another person to shoot over there. Yeah. And there. It's just bad you, marketing, Exactly. Right? You're trying to scratch your nuts and watch TV all day. That's yeah. what you're trying to do. You're trying to not do shit. You're trying to click on Dropbox, boom, share link, send to a person. Oh, can you do this, this, this? And back to editor. Hey, can you do this, this? Send it back. And you're still is watching the Big Bang Theory scratching your balls. That's your <laughs> fuck. It. That's what the fuck you got to be thinking like. Like, yo, fuck working and editing for 8, 12 hours. Why didn't you make your homie do it? And then your budget will be bigger too. But it all comes to do how you make the business right or how much could budget. Because you're not trying to live gig to gig. Of course not. Fuck yeah. no, Brad. You're trying to make two, three grand every shoot plus more, plus commission, plus you take your homies for a nice dinner type shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like that, that. I like to do that personally. And this is like for any viewers that are in photography or making videos. Fuck um, yeah, bruh. For myself, you know, me included, right? Yeah. I'm shy to ask somebody like a setting price. How mm -hmm. how'd you transition out of like, hey, my my work is more worth than sixty bucks. Oh shit! How'd you how how'd you get over that voice? I mean, that's where I guess a lot of people struggle, like myself. Uh, having like like I had like I had only like fifty bucks in my bank account type shit, and I had to pay my my car, my insurance, yeah. and books. So I was like, "Yo, what the fuck? I have fifty, <laughs> I have fifty bucks and shit. I was broke. I was mad as fuck. I'm like, yo, fuck." So I reach out to self-made training facility, shouts out. Uh, and then Tiffany shouts out to her. She gave me the opportunity to just shoot there. Yeah. And I was just going there. And then she told me, how much you charge? And I was like, like 60 bucks for a picture video, uh, for anything. <laughs> yeah. She was like, what the fuck? And then, and then he was like, all right, here. So he gave me this guy called Jonas. Shouts out to Jonah Moves, man. Love you, dog. And then I worked for him and he gave me 500 for four videos. Oh, I'm wow. like, no fucking way. And then I, t and then he, t he, he's such a nice guy, bro. Shouts out to him. But he teach me a lot of business. And, um, he told me, bro, no, Eric, Eric taught me that. Sorry. Not, I love Jonas too. Shouts out to Jonas, bro. <laughs> Eric taught me that. He said, let your balls hang. Yeah. When he said that, bro, I'm like, bet. So I did it. I went to Events Motors. I told him, how much for a video? 500. I was like, let's go. So you started just dropping prices. Like, I, you started I, off the bat. Honestly, and that, it works. Literally, it works. And then once you start showing up with the rig, you start showing up with the fucking crazy gimbals. Yeah. Bro, two, three grand. Boom, 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 boom. Fuck aiming a little okay. This it is if that's I'm what I'm saying. It goes back to like someone yeah. like or well, for example, me low portfolio coming out. You mean yeah. not too much work? Do you start off one hundred fifty bucks and then go big? Yeah, fuck yeah, bro. Always gotta go big. Um, have a set price regardless what you do. You turning up, turning on to the camera. That should be a price that you should have. You know what I mean? For my red five hundred. Just to now, I'm not even editing or shooting. Just for me to be there five hundred with the red. It's mm -hmm. Komodo six K. Boom, amazing lens, amazing everything, lights, mic, everything, 500, I'm not even doing anything. I'm just being there, just turn out the camera. Boom, they want a video, they want 5K, they want 6K, certain amount of price. They want me to export and certain, and 1080 by 1350 or 1080 by 1080, 1080 by 1980, that's different price. So have everything priced, bro. Literally, bro, you're killing your computer by exporting 
and importing footage you're killing you're taking time out of your day to change the format and then you have to like keyframe properly yeah. so it will fit so all those things bro you have to count count to consideration that every single little fucking thing you do bro should have a price regardless what the fuck it is man trust me and that works a lot literally let your fucking balls hang if you think you're worth a thousand dollars charge a thousand dollars if the motherfucker says no move the fuck on sorry bro I'm lo I, lo I, I love this shit bro mm -hmm. i love this shit bro i told you man this you don't, you don't even fucking notice the cameras, right? You know yeah, I mean? exactly. Bro, no, it's because you're pretty as fuck, bro. That neck tattoo <laughs> gives wonders, bro. Oh, man. But, uh, but yeah, no, no, definitely, Victor. Like, I, if I tell you the prices, bro, you have to set them up yourself. Understand your value as a person. Understand that, like, how much hours you time, you, how many hours you're putting into editing, how many hours you're putting into the shoe, how many hours you're doing it from going from, 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 because you're driving, driving location, point right? A to point B, you gotta take, you gotta take consideration your equipment. How much is that rig? Okay, so is that so time, time, your budget, your budget of your setup, and how much time does it take you for your lunch? All that shit, all that shit, you gotta put in consideration, and that's how you make your, that's the equation to make your amount. See, and that's that's crazy. Like I said, you gotta inform, like what you tell me, you gotta inform the customer what you're doing, providing, yeah. right? Yourself. Dude, you're trying to make a living. You're living in fucking California. You're living in San Diego. One expensive as fucking. You pay eighteen hundred for one fucking room. Yeah. You have to make money. Stop fucking doing free shit. I get it. Free shit will get you somewhere, but don't accept fucking. Uh, don't accept clout as fucking payment. I have homies that they just oh he has a lot of followers. Fuck that shit. Hey, that shit ain't gonna pay you though. That shit ain't gonna do nothing for you. It's gonna give you just a hey thank you bro. I thank love you. you blah, blah, blah. That that little thank you you're gonna pay for your bills. The only way you can do it is like hey bro. Even if it's your homie, like bro, if they're real homies, they will give you a tip. They will give you hey bro here boom. You know what I'm saying? If that is your homie, they want free shit all the time, bro. I get it. I understand. I do that. I, I don't get me wrong. I still do free shit. Yeah. Um, I love it. But sometimes you got to ask for something. I work for free sometimes. But when it comes to like, like somebody's reaching out and shit and they want clout instead of payment, bro, I don't, I, I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm just still worrying out about that. I, I'm in the middle, but if I, I don't know, I'm still in the middle with this that. It's still a learning process. It's always yeah. gonna be a learning process. Right? Yeah, just get fucking better with time. Yeah, but just ask for money, guys. Like, don't be afraid for asking for your price. If it's like a regular, regular ass spot, ask for money. People will pay. I, there's so much money to be made in San Diego or in California, primarily. Everybody and their mothers wants to be this shit. Everybody, yeah, you know, I should be doing this, but I don't know. Yeah, you will, man. Trust me, you will be doing it. But um, so. Out of all, out of everything that you do, like just me again asking as a yeah as a, as a informant, um, what had like actually turns turns the turns the bank, like is it shooting commercial real estates, portraits, weddings, car scenes, uh, so, food, yeah, vlogs, um, retainers. I think if you want five five quick five five hundred dollars six hundred dollar gigs. If you know how to fly a drone, real estate. That's simple. You do, do you two, three a day. That's fifteen hundred dollars in your pocket. Boop in a day. No mames. And then it takes you just command B, command C, Lightroom, loot, per, throw a lot on Premiere, Final Cut, whatever. Yeah. Boom. Speed ramp, speed ramp, transition. Boom. It takes you no more than three hours to edit that. Real estate, easy money. I, the lowest I'll ask for two fifty, three hundred bucks for a shoe. The max I'll ask is six hundred. And boom, 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 boom. You go to La Jolla, you do three of those bitches a day, six hundred bucks at each, two hundred bucks. Boom, and you th it will take you what three, four hours max. Don't pass more than four hours. If you're four hours, switch. And you get, you're getting faster every time, right? Because yeah, kind of yeah. Oh, I mean, you're just copying. I mean, for me, pictures. For me, the picture will take you long because it's HDR. Yeah. Uh, to make it look pretty, uh, which is uh, ex overexposure underexposure and then a regular one and you ma you mash them all together into Lightroom and make a little pretty picture and just mask it the, the windows to make it yeah. look fucking outstanding and then drone everybody everybody gets fucking creative with their drone and shit <laughs> but and that's it uh i think if you want quick cash and shit if you want to just if you want to buy just a fucking lens and be like all right, i need quick cash yeah hit up zello hit up a, hit up all the motherfuckers oh so you can actually hit up zello on the app and like yeah yeah the wow. realtors and shit oh wow bro hit up everybody on instagram type in real stare on search and burp, hashtag realtor san diego boom todos and dm them hey video boom hey video boom i have like a thousand thousands upon thousands of messages that i had that they're on red because they oh. want your work no 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 no. like i'd be sending to them oh, okay okay I, and they'll be on red for well, fuck it but there's some of them that like they're fucking that they say yes 
Oh wow. That's the fucking hustle. Like DMing motherfuckers on Twitter, on, on LinkedIn, on Facebook, on if you really want to make it, that's what the fuck you should be doing. DMing anybody. Anybody, anybody, anybody. And the cool thing about that, that's just like work that's always gonna be coming back for more. Snowball. Yeah, more. Snowball effect. Yeah. It's gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger, bigger budgets. You know what I mean? Mm. Second, um, car dealerships. Bro, don't sleep on car dealerships. If you wanna drive the best fucking cars and shit and take them to your spots, like, yo, I have a fucking cool idea. Pitch it to them. They will say yes or no, whatever. But for my luck, um, I've been shooting for car dealerships and they're like an extra 800 bucks, 600 bucks, 300 bucks. I don't, not 300 bucks, excuse me, four, five, six, and it's simple shit. And I you're driving cars. I guess where I'm kind of confused is you shoot at like the showroom or they, they actually take their car on like. They let me take their car. Yeah. But that comes with credibility though. Oh, you know of course. Yeah. <laughs> they're not going to just let a crazy motherfucker do it. You show, that's why I said a pitch. You, you show them, you show them like your portfolio. portfolio. Exactly. Be like, hey, look, I've done this, this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. And be like, oh my God, yo, I want something like that. Oh my God, a Subaru on the beach, on the sunset? Yo, let's do it. When do you want the car? What color? Boom, boom. And you take it, you drive it, you do your business, you come back, and then you're having fun with it while you're getting paid with it. You can mm. flex it, be like, yo, suck my dick. This my car. <laughs> sure, I have seven of those. <laughs> Fuck it. Um, all that shit. But, um, and then third has to be businesses. Like, lo nah, fucking, okay, this is fucked up. Moms and pops, sometimes I work with some of them. Valen verga sometimes, and some of them is amazing, but eh. But like head up fucking um, like downtown, like all those pizzeria places. F <laughs> nah, f that shit don't exist no more. Rip to f man. God no bless them, bro. They out here fucking sniffing fucking cauliflower. Um, but hit up any kind of business when they, you see they're fucking pumping, like an acai spa or like fucking a uh, coffee shop. Pff, coffee shops in San Diego. Make a fucking living taking pictures of fucking bullshit ass lattes with your name on it and shit. Yeah. That dumb shit. Bro, that's easy money. Two, four hundred bucks for taking pictures that would take you like an hour to edit. You know what I mean? Like, figure out ways to make your life easier. Work less. I want you to fucking sit down in your sofa, scratch your fucking balls and watch The Sopranos. While you're making money type shit. As a photographer. Yeah. Or as a videographer. What the fuck you do, man? And then... I, I don't know. So have you always been like this very uh, confident, very outgoing as well? Or has this yeah. just grown on to you? Like just uh, more shooting? No, nah, I feel like once my dad died, I was like, fuck everybody. Oh, I'm sorry to hear. Oh, oh fuck, fuck it. Whatever happens, bro. The social work kills you, bro. But when my dad died, bro, I went to the gym. Shouts out to Crunch. <laughs> Crunch. And um, I went to the gym and everything. I, I think my confidence developed when, my, when I actually said, fuck it. What can I do? I'm going to go to the gym. And then I started went to the gym and boop, the confidence went through the roof and stuff like that. But I was shy talking to women. I was, I recently, my, I recently, recently uh, was really like confident as fuck. But like, I don't know, 20, I think 2020, that's where I'm like, all right, I, I got some bitch. I got you, know? <laughs> but no, in the beginning, I was just a pussy. That ass, I couldn't approach women. I was such a pussy. And I feel you that. Me too, man. Like when yeah. I was younger, super shy, like scared yeah. of talking to girls. But yeah. like they walk my way, I turn around and walk the other way. Dude, no. <laughs> Photography will change that. Yeah. Photography will, you can approach the baddest bitch ever. Like, hey, you down to do a shoe? And be like, what kind of shoe? And be like, bitch, I got you. And you explain <laughs> it. Bro, your confidence, this, I love photography and videography. Because it gives you fuck ton of confidence. Because you can approach, I could approach any, I don't want to say anybody, but I could approach somebody easily now. Yeah. I don't want to say 100% guarantee, but it gets you easy. Because now that you have an idea, you hype the fuck out of the person. Yo, Victor, listen, bro. I'm going to get you on the fucking trail. I'm going to shoot you with the drone. And when the drone comes up, bro, you're going to be running and sprinting, bro. And it's going to be a sick ASRB video type of video. You know what I'm mm. saying? Do this, do that, la, 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 la. And poop. They'll be like, oh. so now you're you're able to talk to guys and girls. You know what I mean? Fuck yeah, like, bro. Whatever. Yeah, I've been fucking, dude. I've been loving. I've been doing so much like cinematic, like ASRB videos. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's so fucking cool, bro. Fuck, always try different shit. Cause I love this. I love this new style of shooting I'm doing. I'm doing like a min my style that I'm going for is a minimalistic dark um videos yeah you know? and i i seen them i mean yeah they're they're, they're hella dope dude I, yeah i'm trying to go i'm trying to do a little bit more different i love it bro try different things as a creator literally try different things if you want to shoot pussy shoot a couple monkeys here and there you know what i'm saying if you want to go for food try to shoot your shoot, fucking shoot food whatever. shoot whatever your 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 critique is right in yeah. A sense. yeah okay but bro like i told you bro Anybody can make this shit, bro. If you really have, if you if you really have the talent, and if you push. think, bro, 
it's easy, bro. You got it. Literally, there's no way going back. There's so much money to be made here. And I must say it again and again because it's fucking true. Because you can make 10 Gs a month. I can make 10 Gs a month. My mentor can make 30, 50 K G a month uh, and everybody else, bro. Wow. It's so fucking possible. It's possible. Literally, it's possible. Possible, bro. I, I promise you, Vic, there is no fucking way you and any creator, if you're really fucking good. You can fucking make it. And you will make it, Vic. Oh, thank you, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to, bro. You can't be a bitch. Over here, uh, hyping me up, man. You have to, bro. You can't be a bitch, bro. You, you're spending so much money on this fucking set and so much money on your rig and your camera and your lens. You know what I'm saying? That G Master costs money, bro. Yeah. You are going to make it back. And you will make it back. Type of shit. And that's the type of shit I be telling him in the morning, scratching my balls, sniffing them, bro. That's what the <laughs> yeah. fuck I be saying yeah, to man, myself, bro. I'm over here calling you like, hey, wake up. Nah, nah, I'm good, bro. What you mean? See? It's literally easy, bro. Well, plus. I think that pretty much wraps up for what we got going on. You know what I mean? Unless you got anything else. I love, you know I mean, your little subtext underneath your Instagram. Oscar, the next Quentin, Quentin I can't even say his name. I don't know either, bro. Quentin Figure Tarantino. out. I don't know. Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> yeah, right? Talking all that shit, bro. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but no, your work speaks for itself. That's what I'm just saying. Like, if anybody wants to check out his page, I'm going to drop his uh, username. If he has... YouTube? You have a YouTube page as well? Nah, I wish. I have, a, I have a OnlyFans. I'll be fucking Japanese people. I'm just kidding. No. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. It's Oscar De Garza. Uh, my name is not De Garza, but hey, fuck it. When I become a full resident, whatever, I'll change my name. Fuck you. <laughs> but I, I, Oscar De Garza and everything, literally everything, they don't know me as Oscar Garza. That's, all, I think, my name. I don't even know my real name. I think it's Oscar De Garza and everything. Shouts out. The Bean Bandit. Vic, I love you, brother. Yeah. Listen, bro. Hey, you're going to kill it, bro. I love you so much, bro. I'm always, always, if you have any questions, I already told you off camera that no matter what, bro, just give me a call, bro. Of course, we'll man. get you money, bro. You have to make money, bro. Uh, yeah, damn right, man. You got to, bro. All right, man. And thanks for coming out, G. That's pretty. Damn, bro.